Welcome to Film in 5D, the show that examines everything film in the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hemmick. This week, we tackle white balance. Tackle? Wow, I'm surprised. Have you been uh, reading a dictionary or something? Very funny. With the increasing availability of professional grade products and their consistent decrease in price, independent filmmakers like myself can make quality work at minimal expense. Now, more than ever, with the Canon 5D Mark II, even you can make professional quality films. However, filmmaking isn't easy, but hey, let's figure it out. On the show, we'll be covering everything DSLR video has to offer, as well as all of the bases from pre to post production. This show will also be featuring an array of short films and skits, all shot in the Canon 5D. So get your glasses on, because this is Film in 5D. Before we begin, I'd like to quickly address a bit of new information I found about last week's topic, camera settings. It turns out, there's a new preset available from the folks at Technicolor. It's called Technicolor CineStyle, and it's a free software that you can install on your camera via the EOS utility software. You can find a set of downloads here, along with the instructions manual to get you started. This preset uses the same settings that I gave you last week, but it is now optimized to give your camera more dynamic range. So much so that the dynamic range of the Canon 5D now rivals that of the Red 1. Well, now that that's all cleared up, we can talk about white balance. After this public service announcement. myself today. Messed up, dude. We'll, we'll talk about this later. 
yeah, okay. Sorry, it's just, you know, white balance is pretty important, so. Right, you probably come across this on your 5D. In my opinion, you have three options. You can use the auto white balance feature on your camera. Meh. Or you can set your white balance manually in Kelvins, red being the coolest and blue being the hottest. Too much effort. Or you can use custom white balance. Dude! Yes, right right there, dude. Yes, that, that is awesome, that is genius! White balance is cool. Now, there's three popular ways you can do this. The first, and my favorite, is to use an 18% gray card. Now the one I bought is collapsible and runs for about $30. You simply set your camera to auto white balance and your lens to manual focus. Take a picture and in the menu select custom white balance. It will ask you which picture you'd like to use to set it. Select the one in the gray card you just took and then set your white balance to the custom mode in either your menu or live view modes. You can do the same thing with the white sheet of computer paper. However, I prefer the gray card because in addition to helping me set my white balance, it's helpful when setting exposure. Dude, I only like the gray card so much because you get to make me hold it. Yes. Finally, you can use a filter right over your lens. You can find some online that will attach like a lens cap, but those can get kind of expensive. I find that a coffee filter works just as well. Of course, you'll want to find a white one, but for demonstration purposes, this should work just fine. So first, take your filter and place it over your lens, and attach it with a rubber band or something. Then you're going to want to aim your camera directly at your key light source and take a picture, then follow the same steps as before. Here are some examples of custom white balance versus auto white balance. And that's it. You can always follow me on Twitter at Aaron Hammock, and we'll be back next week with a brand new segment, as well as information regarding exposure. Really? You got nothing? All right. It's been changing the dialogue to make it sound like we're more in a tunnel, but it's better than no, no, silence. It's like. So, <laughs> like that's what it does. That's what that camera does.